These are some rather large examples of false Solomon seal. It's a perennial herb that grows in moist forests, along stream banks, and open meadows. It ranges from low to subalpine elevations, and it's a very widespread plant. It's found in every province in Canada. Its family is Asparagaceae, and its scientific name is Myanthemum racemosum, or Smilacina racemosa. False Solomon seal grows erect or arched, up to a meter tall, and it's unbranched in contrast to a few related species. Its leaves are large and elliptical, coming to a point. They're about 7 to 20 centimeters long, alternate, and they're set pointing somewhat forward with strong parallel veins. It has small, numerous white flowers born in a showy, unbranched, or pyramid-shaped terminal cluster. It has many red and sometimes mottled purple berries in a showy cluster. They're edible, but not palatable. There are quite a few species that look quite similar. When young, they can resemble Indian hellebore, which is one of the most poisonous plants in the region. They can also easily be confused with a number of similar lilies when they're non-reproductive, including star-flowered false Solomon seal, which is much smaller and has leaves set at distinct right angles, or clasping twisted stalk, which is branched and has distinctly clasping leaves. Rosy twisted stalk has leaf margins with hairs, and Hooker's fairy bells is branched and has hairy leaves. If there are flowers, you can look for a terminal cluster of more than 10 flowers, then you can positively identify it as false Solomon seal. The soil moisture regime is moderately dry to wet, and the soil nutrient regime is medium to rich. <laughs>